Yellow Lakes, the train developing with speed final two crowd. Oh, yeah, what happened there? Yellow is gone. He tries to eye up Momo. What about guys on the inside there? Headed as the mid pack is as here it goes. Snowstorm, look at this. Momo, right on the tail of Yellow Line. Function. Momo diving into that first turn. Down the front stretch they go, drafting between the three of them. After an extended break, Marvel 1 Season 2 marches on, and I say, welcome to the jungle. Hopefully you can see the track for the trees as we're here at the Race Forest Grand Prix. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods this twisty circuit and the perch high above it and it's warm up here I can tell you that what would you expect from the rainforest there you can see the tower the fans enjoying the ambiance of the race forest and hopefully we will not need that medical tent but this is a difficult track and who knows how the marbles will take to it perched on the beach hey are those are the green ducks no they're not just thinking back to rafting <laughs> with all the greenery around the course everybody should be scared except for the green ducks at that rafting is anything to go off of you notice our reverse championship order and four of the five top marbles in the championship are in the order today we begin things with skip and followed close behind minty fresh minty fresh one of seven marbles that raced last time at the Arctic Circuit. Two more tried to qualify, but did not, and one of those is Minty Fresh. In fact, hasn't qualified at all this entire season, but is making ground on skip as they head into the third sector. The early times to beat. 30.5 becomes a 29.416. That will be the mark to beat. Yellow comes out now. 11th place finisher back at the Arctic Circuit in the previous Grand Prix, qualified in 13th. Ocean is also in there, got a top 10 the last time out. Finished 7th, up 5 spots from where Ocean qualified. Also, you may notice the bell. The bell is going to be for the current leader, uh, what that time is, crossing those timing stripes. So if a marble is ahead of the current leader or behind it, you'll know based on where the bell is. Ooh, Yellup goes to second place as I'm explaining that. Ocean comes across and bumps Yellup down just nine hundredths behind Minty Fresh. And you'd have to think with a time set like that so far, unless every other marble qualifies ahead of Minty Fresh, you will not see a DMQ. Snowstorm and Lime Lime out right now. Lime Lime, it's been a couple of races since we have seen that marble in action. Snowstorm, same there. It was snowy the last time out in the Arctic Circuit. Dropped six spots from 6th to 12th, but what can Snowy's teammate do here? Lime Lime comes across, 29.828. None of them are making advances on the top time by Minty Fresh, which guarantees a qualification. Next up, Rima. 14th place back at the Arctic Circuit, a disappointing finish, dropping four spots. Tumult also out there, was not in action the last time out either. Both of them are yellow at the split. Heading into the third sector, Rima actually gained some time. Goes purple in the second sector, and that leads to a P1 for now, 29-2-6. A great recovery over the course of that lap. Out of it in the first sector, purple in the second, and goes P1 at the end of the third. Fantastic stuff. Speedy out on track now after rapidly did not qualify in the previous race and is green through the first sector. Speedy seven hundredths ahead. Waspy needs to pick up the pace, dropping off precipitously. Same thing with Speedy through the second sector. And Waspy comes back in fourth, and Speedy jumps ahead and goes to third. That's not too bad. You can see the Jungle Jumpers fans are a little sparse after disappointing finishes. And sure enough, Skip is dead last thus far. 
Razzy comes out now, chasing Azur. As they head down the back stretch through the 180 degree hairpin. Snaking along in the back stretch, entering the third sector, where the times look like 22.28. That's well adrift. Same thing with Razzy, nearly a second behind. Azur comes across in sixth. Razzy bumps Azur right down. One hundredth between them, as you start to see on the scoring pylon, that time to beat those bottom four will remain the bottom four if everybody qualifies above them, and they will not race tomorrow. Pulsar and Orangen out now. Pulsar 13th in the Arctic Circuit. They come around both three to four tenths off the pace, and it's growing through the second sector. Notice how bumpy this track is. The shifting sands along the ocean cause some instability in the foundation of this circuit, but that adds character, I must say. Smoggy and Honey head out now. Honey did not qualify at the Arctic Circuit, but that comes after two top 10 finishes at the O'Raceway and Aquamarine. Very out of character for Honey, and goes green through the first sector, as does Smoggy. Smoggy started fourth and finished fourth in the previous race. Loses it in the second sector. What does Honey do? Very similar. Coming down the front stretch, a bump off the wall around the final turn, and neither one is gonna break into the top 10. Honey will. Only just. If you're joining us here in Q1 of the seventh race of the second season of Marvula One, here at the Race Forest Grand Prix. Momo and Bolt heading out now. Both of them in the top five in the overall standings of the individual Marble Championship. Bolt so far goes green through sector one. Momo had a terrible start to the lap. It's also gotten worse for Bolt. That advantage completely gone away. Weaving down the front stretch, good positioning through the final turn, gained time back, and goes sixth. How does Momo fare? Ooh, sub 31, but everybody else has been in the 29s, at least those above them. Now Billy heads out, our winner and pole sitter in the previous race, one of those seven who raced last time out. Red Eye, close behind, the overall leader in the championship. Billy is third. Billy is green through the first sector. Red Eye is three hundredths down. It's neck and neck between them. Billy, yellow in the second sector. Now nearly seven tenths behind. Red Eye comes across. Just two tenths down. Seventh for Billy. What does Red Eye do? Taking the circuitous route down the front stretch. And goes P1. What a recovery there, too. Red Eye, 29-151, bests the field by a tenth of a second and will advance. Now remember, this is just Q1, but Red Eye, stamp of authority, heading into Q2. We'll check on those that do not advance, but first, we move to Q2, a two-lap shootout, and the lights are on. Red Eye in the pole position for now. Off they go, blocks to the inside, and gets jostled back into second place, but gains it back through the end of the first sector. I believe that's where it will hold for Red Eye over Rima. Good move on the inside there by Minty Fresh, who then shoulders to the lead, and Rima gets passed into P1, but Minty Fresh has come to race. The top two stretching it over Red Eye, then it's Speedy, Ocean, Waspy, Billy, and Bolt. Those last two, a bit surprising here, as we finish the end of the first lap. Up the belt they come, one step apart between Rima and Minty Fresh. Top four will advance to Q3. The bottom four will be locked in those positions for tomorrow. We will complete a resting of speed for Red Eye, who dove in extra aggressively through those sharp turns in the first sector. Didn't pay for it too much, however. Red Eye up into second place, now loses it, as Minty Fresh challenges Rima in the inside and gets the lead taken. Off that chevron. Heading into the third sector, difficulty! And Rima goes to the front. Minty Fresh needs to advance here and will. Comes across in front of Red Eye. Speedy will round out the top four. Billy did a great job to get back up into fifth. And it'll be Ocean, Bolt, and Waspy come next. 
16 primary, celebrating as they should. There's that battle. Look on the far left side of the screen. Red Eye, under, and gets into second. Here comes Rima across. Red Eye challenging Minty Fresh. So taking a look at the circuit. And, ooh, careful there. Just goes to show you, everybody loves Marvula 1. Ready for Q3. And the race for pole. Who will start P1 for tomorrow's Race Forest Grand Prix? Rima leads Minty Fresh. Red Eye gets around into second place. Speedy is still less than a length behind. That battle for second place is open for anybody thus far. Rima into the distance, trying to build as much of a gap as possible through the first lap. Let the marbles behind battle as they will with Red Eye and Minty Fresh locked close together. There was the same spot that befell a couple of marbles in Q2. That entry into the third sector can completely come to a stop as we head into the final lap. Rima with a big lead over Red Eye, who has speedy right... Oh, really hard shoot off of the inside wall for Red Eye and gets relegated to third place. What happened there? Red Eye looks slightly shocked as Minty Fresh hopes to capitalize and get by. Speedy is also closing in on Rima as they work through the S's right behind. A block heading into the third sector. Nobody catching that wall there. Down the front stretch, Rima and Speedy. Who will get pole? And it's gonna be Rima, just barely two hundredths ahead of Speedy, then Red Eye and Minty Fresh who finally qualifies and go figure, it's a top four second row. There is that trouble with Minty Fresh heading into the third sector. Here is the dash for the line. Oh, so close, couldn't get it done. So it will be Rima and Team Primary starting on pole in front of the Savage Speeders Speedy and Crazy Cat's Eyes Red Eye. We hope to see you tomorrow for the Race Forest Grand Prix.